1952, an author named Ray Bradbury published a short story called A Sound of Thunder. In it, a hunter named Eccles pays $10,000 to travel with Time Safari, a time machine company that takes hunters back to the time of dinosaurs and allows them to hunt the T-Rex. The company guarantees nothing, neither your safety nor your return, and there are strict instructions and expectations for how the hunters should behave once they travel back in time. When they travel 60 million years back in time, they notice the path that has been laid by the company. It floats 6 inches above the earth and is the only path that the hunters should travel upon. They cannot touch anything during their stay in the past, and they are only to shoot when told to. Interrupting any of the natural processes in the past could have irreparable repercussions for the future. Step on a mouse, and you leave your print, like the Grand Canyon, across eternity. They're very careful with leaving the past just as it was supposed to unfold. The T-Rex that they were supposed to kill was going to be crushed by a tree only seconds later. It was going to die anyway. Eccles, however, is terrified and runs back to the time machine through the jungle and waits for the others. But once the rest of the crew returns, they notice the mud on Eccles' boots. Against their better judgment, they allow him to return with the crew back to present day. When they exit the time machine, the crew checks in with the man behind the desk to see if everything is okay, and the man tells him it is. The man, however, is acting a bit different from before they left. There's a strange smell in the air. It's faint, but it's there. The sign on the wall is different. The words were spelled differently. Eccles sits down and checks every inch of his body for things he could have ruined. And on his boot, caked in the mud, he finds a butterfly. Beautiful and dead. The death of a single butterfly has somehow resulted in the future being changed. He cries out in disbelief, begging to return to the past and somehow undo what he's done. He sits down with his eyes closed and senses a crew member enter the room. The crew member breathes loudly and takes the safety off his rifle. Eccles opens his eyes, but suddenly, all he hears is a sound of thunder. <laughs>